What for some may be a pastime and others just a thought is a serious business for the local market. Not many of us pay much attention to what goes into getting the fish on our plates for dinner. However, our cameras did today as we took a closer look at the business of fishing. While some of us are at sleep at 4 and 5 in the morning, there are some men who are already at work on our behalf, seeking to ensure that we have fish included in our meals. Fishermen who operate out of the lands and go of St. John's are among them. Cletus Francis has been doing this for 30 years now. Well, it's a very long time now, maybe about 30 years. Well, anything is your life food is a business. You guys doing it for your life food. As we watched them pull the nets to show on Monday, we counted at least 18 men. So how is this business run? We call it is a bad day. So did you make anything? What's how much money you think, for instance, you would have made out of this? Well, it's a give and take. You can't really know how much money you would make, right? Till you hold and you sell, you know? And the end of the day, sometime according to what you hold, you might make a hundred dollars, you might make two hundred dollars, so you might make ten, you might make five. Yeah, sometimes you might make nothing at all. Because look, since four o'clock outside, I don't drink some tea yet for the day. Right? And I don't sure I'm making twenty dollars for the day yet. And is there always a smile when the nets are hauled? For those who do not see the hard work, the question is, what price is too much to pay for a commodity which demands so much time and energy? We don't pay you sometimes, we don't pay you by money, right? We give you jacks, right? You go and sell and you make your money. Sometimes, according to what you get or you sell it, you could make a 40 or 50 dollars. Sometimes you could make over 100 dollars, right? But the workers in it, what we call the sailor men, Okay, sometimes we have seven, eight, sometimes up to ten sailor men, right? Sometimes we have, we have a thousand dollars, right, between yourself. Okay, if we make a thousand dollars, right? We have the fellas who mend the net, right? Plus we have to take out actually half for the owner of the net, right? So in the end, the process, sometimes we get about 450 or 400. For the fishermen, it's tough work, but it's a business which rides the waves of challenge as is done in other sectors. For GBN Business, I'm Odette Campbell.